You know what happens when you push a small snowball down a hill? It keeps getting bigger and bigger by picking up more and more snow. By the time it reaches the bottom of the hill, it's turned into a huge snowball. This growth is compounded as it rolls down the hill. Now picture this. Instead of snow, the ball is made up of dividend payments from various stocks in your portfolio. As it rolls down the hill, it gathers more dividends along the way, compounding its growth exponentially. Amusing, right? But how does it work? Which strategy is the best? What do you invest in? And can it make $5,000 of earnings a month? Before the end of this video, we will show you the portfolio companies that are ideal for these strategies and a way for you to earn $5,000 a month from the ideal portfolio. Everyone's investment journey is unique. Some people aim to make $1,000 a month, while others may aspire to earn $5,000 per month. When planning how to invest or diversify your portfolio, it's important to consider your individual financial situation and what makes the most sense for you. In today's video, we will explore two strategies to determine if they can help you make $5,000 a month after retirement. But first, what is the dividend snowball effect? The dividend snowball effect is a simple concept. When a company pays out its dividend, some of the money is used to purchase more of its own shares. This raises the number of shares you hold, resulting in a larger dividend payout the next time. As the process continues, your shares and dividends rise dramatically, much like a snowball rolling down a hill. Consider this Warren Buffett quotation to better comprehend this strategy. Someone is enjoying the benefits today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. This signifies that wonderful things need time and patience to accomplish. The same concept may be used to investment. Set up your investment with dividend-paying companies, then allow your payouts increase and compound your investment portfolio over time, much like a snowball expands as it rolls. Your investments will also grow. Let's explore two strategies over 25 years. Number one, one-time investment. Imagine you invest $1,000 in ABV stock and wait for 25 years. If you reinvested the dividends for 25 years, your initial $1,000 investment would have increased to $29,715,000 if you reinvested the dividends. In comparison, if you did not reinvest the profits, your investment would only be worth $4,632,000. That's a $25,833,000 difference. The reason for this is because when you receive a dividend payment, you may use it to purchase further shares of stock. By purchasing additional shares, you will receive a greater dividend distribution the next time. This allows you to purchase additional shares, increasing your future rewards, the process, like a snowball rolling down a hill, keeps repeating and increasing over time, allowing your investment to increase quicker. If you continue to reinvest your income, your yearly dividend payments will climb to $3,769, which is approximately $315 each month. It may not appear to be much, but keep in mind that it all began with a $1,000 investment. Assume you invest $10,000 as a one-time investment. After 25 years, your investment will be worth $297,153.96 with an annual income of $37,698. This equates to around $3,140 each month. As you can see, the more you invest, the larger your dividends will be, and that amount of monthly income will be sufficient for most individuals after retirement. Even if you decide to cease reinvesting at some point, your dividend payments will continue to rise because the dividend amount is normally increased over time. As a result, the earlier you begin investing and reinvesting, the greater your total returns will be. You may obtain spectacular growth in your investment over time by starting with a tiny sum, such as 1000 or a moderate 10000 investment and reinvesting the returns. It's an excellent approach to accumulate wealth for the future. But number two, investing $200 every month over 25 years. Let's understand that investing $200 every month over the 25 years. You can adopt an easy to implement method that does not require you to go into debt. All you have to do is make an initial commitment of 1000 and then add 200 to your account every month. Following this method for 25 years will result in a total investment of 61000 at the conclusion of the 25-year term.
If you reinvest the profits you get, your investment would be worth 535610 if you did so. When you don't reinvest the earnings, your investment is only worth 172308 This implies you gained an extra $363,302 by reinvesting your dividends. Without reinvesting, you would still get 8,640.45 in dividends throughout this time period, which is comparable to 720 per month. However, the true benefit comes from reinvesting dividends. If you reinvested the dividends over the course of 25 years, you would get $67,785 in yearly dividend income, or $5,650 each month. If you maintain the method for another 5 or 10 years, the power of compounding and reinvestment becomes much more apparent. In 30 years, you would have a total value of $1,072,567 due to yearly dividends of $135,907. You would receive $270,148 in annual dividends and a total worth of $2,130,690 after 35 years. That amounts to more than $2,500 in dividends every month. The distinction between reinvesting dividends and not reinvesting dividends becomes much more pronounced. There is now a $1.9 million difference in overall value and a $2.6 million difference in yearly dividend income. This is all because of the compounding effect, which strengthens over time. So the earlier you begin investing and reinvesting, the greater the snowball effect of dividend investment. Now that you understand how these tactics operate, the question is where you should put your money. So, there's some wonderful news for you. We've developed a list of funds and stocks from several industries that match the criteria for an optimal portfolio, safety and high returns. For the ideal portfolio first, start with dividend aristocrats. These are dependable firms that have increased their dividends for at least the last 25 years. They're large and established businesses, and you can find them on a list called Dividend Aristocrats, which includes some of the highest dividend-paying stocks. Examine the percentage of profits paid as dividends by the firm. It may not be sustainable if it is too high. The appropriate payout ratio is between 50% and 60% of earnings. Also, excessively high dividend yields should be avoided, since they may suggest financial difficulties for the company in question. Coca-Cola has a compound annual dividend growth rate, or KAGR, of 5.34%. Procter & Gamble has a CAGR of 5.73%. Johnson & Johnson has a CAGR of 6.28%. And McDonald's has a CAGR of 8.39%. Consider high dividend ETFs next. Instead of buying individual companies, you may invest in dividend paying exchange traded funds. The following are some of the most significant ETFs to consider Spider S and P Dividend ETF. This ETF now yields 2.91% and has a 10 year return average of 10.23%. Vanguard High Dividend Yield. ETF. This ETF has a current yield of 2.99% and a 10-year average return of 10.45%. Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity. ETF. This ETF now yields 3.69% and has a 10-year return average of 14.61%. Lastly, consider dividend-paying REITs. These are like mutual funds but invest in real estate instead of stocks. They are often the owners of commercial assets such as offices, retail spaces, and residences. REITs are required to distribute at least 90% of their income as dividends. Kimco Realty Corp. has a current dividend yield of 3.26%. Brandywine Realty Trust has a current dividend yield of 6.59%. And Brookfield Property REIT has a current dividend yield of 7.54%. Now, Consider the optimal portfolio's return using the two strategies. Number one, one-time investment over 25 years. If we pick three of the finest from the three sectors, McDonald's with an 8.39% return, Schwab U.S. Dividend Equity ETF with 14.61%, and Brookfield Property REIT with 7.54% and invest in these three as a portfolio, we'll get an average 10.18% return. 
Using strategy one, after 25 years, your 1,000 investment will be worth 12,677, providing you a 1,215 dividend every year. Number two, investing $200 every month over 25 years. Using option two, if you invest 200 every month in this scenario, your investment will increase to 288,575 and you would earn an annual dividend income of around 27,711. That works out to be roughly 2,310 each month. And if you leave it to invest for another 5 or 10 years, after 30 years it will be worth 494744 with an annual dividend of 477586 In 35 years, it'll be worth $836,999, paying an annual dividend of $80,580. That's 6715 every month. This technique allows people to retire comfortably and without worrying about their monthly expenses. Investing in dividend-paying stocks is a smart way to steadily grow your wealth, even with small amounts. So, if you wait until you have more money to invest, you will miss out on the potential to profit from years of growth that do not require a huge investment.